Hey Taurus, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all Taurus placements, okay? So Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Taurus, then this reading is for Jewel, okay? Let us go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for our Taurians. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages for Taurus? Thank you. Envy in reverse, okay? Everybody's getting called out here, man. I feel like somebody <laughs> is envious of you. You already know who this person is because the card is in reverse. Now, had the card been upright, this would be something that I'm thinking, eh, you know, you don't know about, you're not aware of, or what have you, right? But it's here in the invert position. So clearly the envy has been exposed. You've been thinking about this person or they've been thinking about you, which is possibly why, in turn, you've been thinking about them. Okay. Anywho, hope that didn't make you dizzy, but that's what I'm getting here. Okay. If you've been picking up on somebody's energy, this is why they've been definitely focused on you very, very, very hard. Okay. Like very hard. This person is sending you all of their intentional energy right now. Okay. Okay. Um, but I feel like with strategy and reverse their plan, eh, it's not really working. Okay. So this could be that Don Juan ass person that we was talking about <laughs> last time. This could be that Don Juan person. All right. Let us see. For our Torians, we have community in reverse. Yeah. That person that was trying to put you in that third party situation. Mm -hmm, this is him. Mm -hmm. This person is thinking that you don't know anything right now okay but i mean come on it keeps coming out in all of the readings i mean at this point how could you not know everybody seems to know all right Praetorians. what in the world okay Praetorians. door to spirit because spirit told you all right spirit already put you on to what this person is doing what their game is other people have even told you little birdies here and there are putting you onto this person's game. So you're at ease. You have peace of mind. You're not disturbed at all. You're sleeping well at night. You're looking good as hell in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? Throughout the entire day, you're living life right now, Taurus. Okay, so uh, let us see what's going on with this person. <laughs> mm -mm. Y'all know how blue feel about these type of individuals. See what I'm saying? You're at ease. You don't have... No issues, no worries, no concerns, none of that. Your life is balanced, intact, in sync with God. You know, I mean, this person, I, I don't know, man. They just need to go on here and get up out your energy at this point. Let us see for Taurus. Appreciation. Now this person wants to come in and show you some appreciation. Maybe because it's Valentine's Day, you know, it's the holidays. Even if they didn't do something for you on Valentine's Day, they might try to do something for you after. You know, look, the 15th, eh, that's funny. They might try to do something for you after. And you're just looking at them like, boy, I wish I could have seen my face right now. Side eye. Like, boy. <laughs> All right, what I see. Or girl, shit, whatever the hell. We have here journey, okay? So, yeah, go on your spiritual journey. Go on your spiritual quest. Not thinking about this person at all. You have completely moved on or detached from this person. And like I said, now because you have done that, here they come in wanting to shower you, wanting to give you affection, wanting to give you gifts, um, little trinkets and things like that. You're just going to be looking at them like, that's the energy I feel. Like, whatever, man. All right, or whatever, girl, because you're going to have your shit together on your own. You already do. Like I said, if for those of y'all who this person may have been some sort of superior or, you know, somebody who was like your, um, what was the person, y'all? Your trainer or whatever the hell was going on. I feel like you have other priorities. You can go to another gym. You have your stuff together. Like I said, this is somebody that's used to flaunting what they have to get what they want and it's not working with you because you have your own with this Blossom and Abundance card. You're not thinking about this person and they, you know, what they might have, okay? Because you don't even know. For real, for real. And then we have Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. I don't even know if I showed y'all as the underlining. You're focused on you. You're not thinking about this person. For some of y'all, I feel like this could be an ex if we're not just carrying over the energy from the last reading. Definitely could be an ex. 
okay if this is a new person or someone they trying to made you try to make you a third party you didn't want that all right you probably was feeling this person at first and then found out about that it's like you know what never mind i mean anybody with respect is going to do that because i'm not doing that all right so how does it go you know what i mean which one gets to priority which one of us gets more of your time you know what i mean because what if i want your time on this day but they want your time on this day too how does that work um, we just have to deal with the day and the time and this and that. I'm not scheduling my affection. You get what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. So who's going to do that when they have self-respect? It's like, sorry. Now, if you somebody that's like, yeah, I'm polygamous. and I, Okay, that's an agreement that y'all made. But that's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Between somebody making an agreement and somebody saying, no, I'm monogamous. You get what I'm saying? And I don't like being with multiple partners at a time. I just want to be with one person. And I just want that one person to be with me. That's it. You know what I mean? Different strokes for different folks. And this person trying to put you into something you're not into. It's not the first time I've read something like that for Taurus energy. All right. So let's see. We have here pride. Okay. So I love myself and I see myself in everyone. This person could have a lot of pride, but so do you. You get what I'm saying? And then the underlying energy of abundance. You're not thinking about it like that for real. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. See what I'm saying? You don't need this person like that for real. All right. You wanted them, but you don't need them. Okay. So let us see here. Thank you, spirit. For our Torians. That's more than likely what's bugging the hell out of them. And also, with the envy in reverse, they could have been trying to make you jealous of somebody. And you're just not. You get what I'm saying? You're like, jealous? You know, I'm grown. I don't get jealous. I get turned off. You feel me? Straight up and down. I don't get jealous. I get turned off. I just won't deal with you like that. Because <laughs> I don't want to be doing you and doing them. You know what I mean? <laughs> So much goes into that. Like, mm -mm. Right, let us see. Mm. All right, we have new beginnings. Ooh, new beginnings, and it didn't know if it wanted to flip out upright or not, y'all. But I'm gonna put it in the upright because I feel like this person is trying to stop you from moving on, trying to stop you from having this brand new beginning. Um, but it's happening anyway. Cause we've seen the journey card. Yeah, destiny. It's happening anyway. They're trying to prevent you from moving on. I feel like, okay, let me put it to you this way. For those of y'all who could have been in a relationship, high level, uh, you know, level of commitment or whatever with this emperor here, this could have been your husband, if not your husband, your fiance, if not your fiance, your man forever, your on and off again man or whatever. But this person is very controlling. For some of you, this could be your divine counterpart, which is why you keep dealing with this person or entertaining this person. However, they are not vibrating on a high frequency, not with the emperor in reverse. They're very controlling. They want you to do what they want you to do. So you might not even know about the other people. They might be having you as the main, but then you always find out about third parties and then you're like, come the fuck on. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is just too much. I don't have no third parties. And like I said, for y'all, I did mention something about the agreement. So maybe that's the problem. There was never an agreement to continue to have third parties. If we're going to deal with each other, let's deal with each other. But whatever that agreement that we have with each other is, that's the agreement we stick to. You don't just switch up mid fucking way. You get what I'm saying? Or however the hell you want to do it. That's not how it works. Because now that means you're breaching the deal you get what i'm saying or breaching the contract if this was your husband and we're not doing that right so that's the problem that i feel here for you you know what i mean this person wants to try to trap you in something you don't want to be in you don't want to deal with something like that all right what is this we have disruption in reverse so yeah spirit is basically saying they're not going to be able to cause no sort of tower for you at all if anything it's going to happen to them because all that uh hateful energy and all that this is what I need people to understand. When we were like, oh, people doing magic on you. They doing magic on you. You're like, who's doing magic? Do y'all know magic is energy, right? Y'all know that. So if this person is sending you hateful energy because they want to try to keep their grip on you, you get what I'm saying? And not allow you to go anywhere or do anything with anybody, be with anybody else, see the world, work or whatever the hell is going on here with this controlling ass person. You get what I'm saying? They literally are just trying to stop you. They, they feel like if you get into the world, you're going to take off. 
and they're right. They're 1,000% right. You get what I'm saying? They know that, though. They know that. So this is somebody that possibly has amazing gifts, qualities, whatever, um, as far as psychic abilities. You get what I'm saying? But they use them in the wrong way. Like I said, they're a low vibrational masculine. They are not a high vibrational masculine. So let us see here. Yeah, we have emotional withdrawal in reverse and patience and planning. So I feel you guys know all of this that I'm saying right now is the confirmation for you. You just getting your shit together. You get what I'm saying? Getting your plan together. This is why I never force anybody to leave comments. I wouldn't want you to go in my comment section and be telling me your plan about how you about to escape in the middle of the night. Because if you have controlling ass Bob over here who's trying to do X, Y, and Z, he might try to do some shit. You feel what I'm saying? So play it smart, ladies. Be quiet. But the reason I'm doing this is because spirit guided me to do this to tell you, hey, you're right. This is right. What you're thinking is correct. Go ahead and make your decision based off of that. You get what I'm saying? Um, off of what God tells you to do. You feel me? But with fulfillment of wishes in reverse, like I said, they're trying to prevent you from reaching your goals. <clears throat> so we have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. Okay, yeah, but this person is not going to get any sleep. And it's because of the choices and the movements that they've been making. You get what I'm saying? They've been deciding to try to break you down with spiritual strength in reverse. You get what I'm saying? Try to hold you back. Um, and like I say, a lot of you have just been allowing it a little bit because you feel like this is your divine counterpart, but you're quietly on a DL getting your plan together. You feel me? The others of you, you already been walked on, I mean, walked away and left that mother freak alone. And here they go, patiently planning to come back into your life. So you put yourself in whichever storyline, but let us see. This person is not going to get that tower for you. They're going to get it for themselves. Yeah, we have victory and success in reverse. They're not going to get that tower uh-uh. Nope. Because they were trying to force their will on you. I don't think this is your masculine. Yeah, this is, as soon as I said that, the justice card reverse. This is a karmic. This is not a masculine. All right? This is a karmic masculine trying to pretend. See? Devil. That he's your, uh, this is the truth, that he's your counterpart, and he's not. All right? He's not. And so spirit is stepping in right now. I know people will be like, why you want to tell me that right now? It's Valentine's Day. Because that's why. You're going to sit there and be like, it's Valentine's Day. You're going to let him come back in again and literally come back in again. And you're going to be stuck in a situation you don't want to be in with a person you clearly don't want to be with. All right? So, shit, Valentine's Day or not, hunty. Valentine's Day or not. I feel like the second you go ahead and choose yourself, and let's follow spirit's guidance over whatever the hell is going on. For those of y'all who still like, it's Valentine's Day. Your person's going to come in. Others of y'all, y'all already know that shit. Because like I said, grown women don't get jealous. They ain't going to do that third party shit. They're going to get turned off. They're going to move on. They're going to be with somebody that's going to give them the respect that they deserve. You feel me? Somebody that's going to make Valentine's Day before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day every day as to where when it's valentine's day and you got something that you love you can come on this damn camera and do it amen because every goddamn day is valentine's day in your household that's the shit you deserve you understand what i'm saying divine feminine to divine feminine not no low vibrational ass karmic who could never give the energy to the to one woman the the appropriate way let alone several and out here trying to be damn third partying the fuck but anyway, <laughs> all right, Taurus, I love you. If this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hat grease.